Well, plenty of reactions coming in and we'll also set up the entire story and what has happened. It's, a, it's, it's an intriguing matter. And joining us this evening, C.R. Keshwan, spokesperson of the Congress, joining us from Chennai. And there is a history why C.R. Keshwan is also part of the panel because he's great-grandson of C. Rajgopalachari, one of the first recipients of the nation's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna. Uh, Mr. Keshwan, I'll come across to you. Mr. Sudhinder Kulkarni, good evening. Columnist and author joining us, Justice Giridhar Malviya. Grandson of Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya joining us via Skype from Allahabad. Good evening, sir. We're also expecting uh, Tushar Gandhi, author and social activist and great-grandson of Mahatma Gandhi to join us in the studio in a bit. Mr. C.R. Kesavan, uh, I'm also say, going to say good evening to Shaina NC of the BJP joining us at this point. Mr. Kesavan, I have to ask you this. When you saw this shortlist, didn't you ever think? Because I, this thought did cross my mind and I'll be very honest. Oh, haven't they been honoured on, already? Why so late? Why haven't they been honoured yet? These are questions which come when you see that shortlist, when you see the names of Subhash Chandra Bose, Major Dhyan Chand, and, 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 and the others, in, including Kanshi, Kanshi Ram, uh, uh, as part of that list, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. If others could have gotten it before them, why has the, the delay been for so long, 64 years? Uh, Anand, the first thing is this. Uh, I think uh, politics should be kept out of... Uh, the Bharat Ratna, because the Bharat Ratna is a recognition and appreciation and expression of gratitude of the nation towards these great heroes. All these reports are still under the realm of speculation, but even if that is true, we wholly welcome because they're, all of them are heroes indeed. You know, somebody was talking about uh, the Congress view on Atal Bihari Vajpayee. We should remember that in 1992, when Mr. Narsimha was the government, uh, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee was given Padma Bhushan, the second highest civilian uh, honor. So these things should be kept out of politics. As part as a, as of why you know uh, these things have not been given. My I'm hearing myself. If you can correct that, but yeah, they will correct ahead. that. They will correct see, that. Yeah. Okay. See, when you see what happened in 1955 till 1955, there was no posthumous awards. Only in 1955 came a declaration for posthumous awards. And the first posthumous award was given in 1966 for Lal Bahadur Shastri ji. So, Subhash Chandra Bose ji died in 45, 46, Gandhi ji in 48. But, but that's Patel what I'm trying to say, Mr. Keshwar. Uh, I'm sorry, oh, I'm interrupting no, no, no. you. I'm that, interrupting you. But, but no, no, I, I agree. I, I, I agree what you're there saying. Is, there has been a convention. No, no, I, please, please. You, when there you talked about convention. posthumous awards, the fact is even in 1992, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's family contested the word posthumous because so far there has been no concrete proof forthcoming from the government that Netaji did die. He disappeared. But they have not declassified no, no, those files that with, still Anand. withhold a secret. Anand. So what stood Anand. in 1955 Anand. still stands in 1992 and in 2014. So, and you're talking about Anand, keeping you're, politics you're, out of it. Who is the Congress is telling others to keep politics out of it? Well, what are you trying to insinuate here, if I may? Because I think you're talking about two different issues here. You, you raise both the issues, and I'm asking you both the questions. And I was sir. giving you an explanation. Yes, sir. Sorry. You raise both the points, and I'm asking you counters to both. Go ahead, please. Counter, counters to both. I, I'm, see, Subhash Chandra Bose ji was given in 92, but his family declined for various reasons. Even today you heard his grand nephew saying that they, they, they're not willing to take it. If the NDA government has decided to give it, he is a great hero. I mean, it's the decision of the family. And as far as uh, politics is concerned, let, let me be very clear. You didn't let me complete last time, Anand. Go ahead, sir. Posthumous, uh, you know, heroes, it's a prerogative of every government. And I think, you know, just because somebody's name is left out, everybody is entitled to, entitled to the view. And I think every government has the prerogative, whether it's the Congress government or the NDA government. And I think, it's, you know, people are talking about uh, Dhyan Chanji. I mean, he's a great hero. But, you know, we should also understand only in 2011, we opened the field from arts, literature, science and Mr. public Keshavan. sports. So they, it could be very good given now. Mr. Keshavan, so Mr. Keshavan, the point is that it, 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 I cannot have a one-way debate only with you because everything that you have said, I have strong counters to all of that. But it will then become a monologue between you and me and I won't be able to bring in the other guests. So I'll come across That's to you choice. later. Mr. That's Kulkarni, Mr. Sudhinder Kulkarni and Mr. Tushar Gandhi were also reacting to what you were saying. So I'm going to go to Mr. Kulkarni first and then go across to Tushar Gandhi also. Yes, Mr. Kulkarni, do you agree with what Mr. C.R. Keshavan is saying? Because these names, should have been honoured in the first decade of us as a republic and it did not happen. You know, uh, the Congress has a lot to answer for the partisan way in which it selected the Bharat Ratna uh, personalities. Sometimes, you know, in the case of MGR, 
for obviously political electoral reasons in 1998, uh, 1988. And then posthumous doesn't mean that uh, someone like Ambedkar is given Bharat Ratna in 1992, 1990. Abul Kalam Azad. Then, yes. So, you know, this is, you cannot, uh, posthumous means uh, several decades later. The Congress was in power for all those decades after, after 54 when the Bharat Ratna was instituted. But it did not consider either Wallabhai Patel or Ambedkar or Abul Kalam Azad deserving of the Bharat Ratna. Now, coming to Atal Bihari Vajpayee. You know, is it the Congress spokesman's contention that Atal Bihari Vajpayee doesn't deserve more than Padma Vibhushan? That he doesn't deserve the Bharat Ratna? It is purely for political and partisan reason that someone as tall as Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji has been deprived of the Bharat Ratna. Let me tell you that on January 8, 2008, none other than L.K. Advani wrote to the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh suggesting that Bharat Ratna should be awarded to Vajpayee ji. You know, I'm a small person. I personally met Dr. Manmohan Singh earlier this year and suggested that Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji should be given Bharat Ratna. You know, this is pure no, partisanship I, I, I have and not, therefore I say Mr. that Kulkarni, uh, Mr. Kulkarni, I have a not, lot to answer for. But Mr. Kulkarni, I have not even come to Mr. Vajpayee and Mr. Kanshiram yet. I am still stuck back there at the time of Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya and uh, uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and Major Dhanchand. You know, sports persons coming into the reckoning only in 2011 is one. Then suddenly the sports ministry recommends uh, Major Dhyanchand should be the first post person to be conferred the Bharat Ratna and overnight or, or within a matter of 48 hours Mr. Tushar Gandhi it is Sachin Tendulkar in 2013. Now isn't that populist? Isn't that political? And is the Congress right in saying that politics should be kept out because in 1955 Jawaharlal Nehru was conferred the Bharat Ratna. 1971 Indira Gandhi got the Bharat Ratna ahead of Sardar Vallabhai Patel who got the Bharat Ratna around the same time that Rajiv Gandhi got it. And Baba Sahib Ambedkar comes in 1990. Unfortunately, uh, we are uh, very prone to play politics with everything. We don't have hold anything sacred. Everything becomes politicized. Everything is done with political motives. And uh, this is what happened. Uh, Pandit ji was at loggerheads with Netaji, so he gets left out. Uh, somebody else is at loggerheads with others they get left out i you see even today while everybody else is being uh, honored uh, jay prakash narayan is not so you know this continues we we are a people and a government that trivializes everything but, but i should tell you jay prakash like narayan did get conferred the bharat ratna in 1998 oh, so uh, so he is not being okay. left out okay. but so uh, but the, but i i agree with what you're saying in the sense largely you've raised yeah, the point what what happens is like uh, we trivialize everything that we deal with i'm sorry for making that uh, mistake on TV, but uh, we trivialize everything. But do, do you also agree, all, now that 64 then, years passed, even in 1992, it was so passed, that when, when Netaji's family says, Mr. Gandhi, that along with Mahatma Gandhi and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose should be kept above the Bharat Ratna. They, they, have, they have a stature which now you nobody, should not... Nobody is above an honor. An honor is something that a grateful nation bestows. I'm not. I, I'm not ad libbing for anyone. But that's your point. What of view, I'm yeah. saying is, and nobody is above an honor, which is the ultimate or the utmost that a nation confers, because a nation is always bigger than a personality. Correct. And so, uh, let's not get into those kind of debates of putting people above honors and things. But what has to be done is, and what reprehensibly hasn't been done so far is that there has been a selective honoring of personalities and that selective honoring of personalities should not have happened and should not continue to happen. True and, and Justice Giridhar Malviya, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Sir, uh, you are the grandson of Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. Can you tell our viewers, has uh, Panditji's name ever been considered in the past? Has there, have you ever got to know that his name is being considered, it's been proposed? And, and how many times has that happened? Or is this the first time that his name is being considered? 
I think it's the first time now, not earlier. And, and, and are, you, are, are you shocked or are you upset of the fact that it's 64 years down the line uh, as, as we turn as a republic and it's today that his name even comes up in the shortlist? Whereas many others who have come after his time have already uh, been uh, conferred the Bharat Ratna. Can you hear me, Justice Malvi? No, the voice snapped in between. Now I could hear you again just now. Right. Uh, my question to you, if you can hear me again. Uh, uh, are you upset that it's now, 64 years after we've turned a republic, that his name is being considered? Whereas many others who came after him have already been considered and conferred the Bharat Ratna. I think we, we fixed that Skype line with uh, Justice Malviya there, Justice Giridhar Malviya joining us from Allahabad. But China NC, now uh, what would you want to tell the Congress? Yeah. They're saying don't care, keep the politics out of it. Is there a motive? Why has Kanshiram's name be, uh, made it to the shortlist? Anand, let me start by saying in a country as diverse as India with over a billion people who have truly contributed in so many ways, there's bound to be some kind of a question mark vis-a-vis -vis the final choice because everyone will say that why not so and so and why not so and so. It's very convenient for the Congress to kind of cast aspersions and say that, you know, somebody belongs to a particular region and that is the reason why he or she is getting the Bharat Ratna. But let's not trivialize this debate. It is the highest honor. We would have preferred that people who are alive receive it in their lifetime. However, there is a question in mark uh, when it comes to the posthumous um, uh, awardees. But for a generation which has not seen the struggle of the freedom movement or who have not seen nationalists or people who have given to society and I've heard a lot about Vajpayee ji but let's realize that Vajpayee ji is the reason why India is a nuclear power today so all these points have to be taken into consideration and it is the prerogative of the government I don't think there could be a question mark vis-a-vis -vis any of the five names being speculated even now yes there is a huge backlog and there are lots of names in the reckoning who are extremely deserving be it in the field of sports um, in uh, in social service for that matter in active public life and politics but I think the country and the youth of this country need to know our legacy and need to realize that the stalwarts who have put us onto the path of progress cannot go unnoticed and I feel that if the Congress feels so vehemently about few names, they had ample time in the past to uh, you recognize all of them. They have chosen to choose whoever they think is befitting. I think it's absolutely no, so and, and, and that, that is the other question which comes to mind. India should know. Though, Shaina, we, we would want to ask the Congress a lot of questions. We also want to ask the BJP a few questions because you've chosen these names very smartly. And, and, and is this going to try and further a populist measure or is, there, is it a well thought out uh, uh, reason? And... Uh, 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 behind this move. Those are questions which we'll ask. We've also thrown our phone lines open to our viewers who had a lot of points to make right through the evening. I request our guests to stay on. We'll take a very short break and we'll also take our viewers' calls on the other side. I don't know what the name of 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 the name क्यों नहीं शहीद भगत सिंह अशफाक उल्ला और चंद्रशेखर जी का नाम था क्यों नहीं डॉक्टर राम मनोहर लोहिया का नाम है क्यों नहीं और भी देश में प्राण देने वाले लाला लाजपत राय भी ने भी देश की आज़ादी में प्राण दिए उनका नाम क्यों नहीं था नहीं। तो बहुत से नाम इसमें छूटे हुए हैं और खाम खा इसको विवाद का मुद्दा बनाया जा रहा है तो मैं तो कहूँगा नाम स्वीकृत देने से पहले कोई मानक बना के इसको दोबारा विचार कर ले तो ज़्यादा अच्छा तो आपको लगता है कि ये एक क्योंकि चुनाव भी कुछ राज्यों में आने वाले हैं महाराष्ट्र में हैं हरियाणा में हैं और दूसरा अभी आप कह रहे हैं कि कुछ एक एनालिसिस करना चाहिए आपको लगता है कि बाकी पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज़ को भी कंसल्ट करना चाहिए एक कोई ऐसा फोरम बनाना चाहिए जो डिसाइड करे कि भारत रत्न कौन डिजर्व करता है कौन नहीं बिल्कुल फोरम बनाना चाहिए क्योंकि जब हर चीज़ में पारदर्शिता है तो फिर इसमें पारदर्शिता क्यों और अगर भारत रत्न वोटों के आधार पर दिया गया तो सबसे दुखद दिन देश का होगा और ये सपना हिंदुस्तान कभी देखने को सोचा भी नहीं था कि भारत रत्न भी वोटों के आधार पर दिया जाएगा इसके मतलब इस देश में वोटर और वोट प्राथमिकता हो गई देश प्राथमिकता पर नहीं रह जाएगा 
you heard the samajwadi party there and wonder why what they would have to say tell their upa allies or even 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 the congress why they never made these noises earlier now that they have a bone to pick with the bjp perhaps there is uh, you know naresh agarwal is saying but there is merit in what he says too there is merit in what he says to sudeep kulkarni and that's why earlier in the evening we had a caller who is a former diplomat calling us from bangalore he echoed what vinod mehta shared with us here on times now he said take the politics out of it totally let the prime minister chair and let be an eminent panel of citizens of the country decide who should get the nation's highest civilian honor you see there is no need to uh, politicize in fact this should not be politicized at all it should not become a point of controversy the other awards you know are there is a different kind of a selection system as far as bharat ratna is concerned it is solely the prerogative of the prime minister to recommend and ultimately the president decides i can tell you that uh, when atal bihari vajpayee ji was prime minister he had made a suggestion to give bharat ratna to savarkar but it was not accepted by the president so there is no in my view there no need to change this uh, selection criteria and it is not very often that it has got politicized let me tell you that it was during vajpayee's time that a great congress leader a great freedom fighter from assam gopinath bordoloi yes was given bharat ratna in 1999 yes and tomorrow if uh, pandit madan mohan malviya is indeed selected for the bharat ratna posthumously by a bjp government it should be remembered that malviya ji was a congress president he in fact he was president for four times no no that way mr so, sudin the kulkarni even if kanchi you know, ram is given he was the one who is the founder of happened. the bahujan samaj party politicization so, so so but but today today the the motive that no. uh, the question that will be raised is uh, these five names there has to be some motive or the other because there was a huge furor shaina nc last time around when sports persons were being considered in 2011 yeah. nobody was called to, uh, in 2012 in 2013 such a, ahead of sachin tendulkar it was major dhyanchand everybody agreed the sports ministry also sent in a request saying that it should be major dhyanchand proposing his name that he should be conferred the first bharat ratna for a sports person but then it all changed and it it looked largely populist and driven by one man or somebody's uh, you know whim and fancy that that name was rejected and sachin tendulkar's name was taken ahead not taking away anything from sachin's achievements but this man put india on the map because of the kind of hockey he played in the kind of circumstances that he played and he deserved to be the nation's first uh, bharat ratna as a sporting icon shaina nc and that isn't that what the bjp is cashing on because there was a lot of public opinion against the congress for making that decision against major dhyanchand so isn't it also a populist move that's well, happening because you're looking at a dalit vote bank in in absolutely. uttar pradesh and in maharashtra you got assembly elections coming in maharashtra and you push in kanshi ram's name so would you suggest that if it was sachin tendulkar now because he's in maharashtra it would have helped us for election we cannot have this kind of logic please understand that mr kanshi ram is was a dalit leader who needed to have his own recognition not for obvious reasons that you're trying to uh, uh, you know uh, jibe me towards saying but i want to just say two points one is that sachin tendulkar uh, is a national icon yes question and debate about dhyanchand clearly that is a question mark as well whether he should have come earlier he should have come later but the point is the government also has restrictions and prerogatives the prerogative being that there is Uh, a, a certain number, and there has to be a people from a cross section of various walks of But life. But where are the scientists? Public service is one aspect; sports is the other. Where, and I don't wh- think why should there be a perog- uh, Sachin Tendulkar and the government? Now you know, uh, right? We've got two callers also with us. We'll also go across to Justice Malvi. I think we've got the connection through. Uh, I request Amit and our caller Vishwanathan to just stay on. I'll take a quick question with Justice Malvi. Justice Malvi, I hope you can hear me. You know, was Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi's name ever proposed in the past? or is this the first time that you are hearing his name being shortlisted no it's for the first time i had never heard uh, his name been considered earlier and, and did it pain you did it hurt you what did you ever wonder when others were being conferred the bharat ratna why not him no not really because uh, throughout his life he never aspired for any position and therefore i don't think that he he would have been very happy but i do feel that uh, it was an honor which was due to him 
honor you believe long overdue it should have happened in the 50s or the 60s if not uh, at no. least in the 70s 64 years Certainly. down the line it's happening i think so because uh, his contribution in the nation building was enormous he was the uh, congress president nominated four times of the all india congress uh, committee which was the whole congress and uh, apart from thinking about the education in india he th thought about the Uh, downtrodden people he thought about the economy of the country he thought about a common language for the country as uh, he had established hindi sahitya sammelan so that when the country becomes independent hindi sahitya sammelan was all over the india trying to impart hindi education to all so that there could be one uh, one particular language which could be a common language so he was a visionary he used to think about so many things Right, Justice Malviya. Go. I will go across to our two callers before I go across to C R Keshavan again. Uh, Amit from Mumbai and uh, N B Vishwanathan from Bangalore. Uh, uh, thanks for your patience. Yes, Amit. Yeah. So, quick three points. Please give me twenty seconds. Number one, salute to our honourable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Yes, these all honourable people are well deserving. Second point, this uh, Bharat Ratna to be given posthumously was uh, uh, decided in nineteen fifty-five. There was notification, right? And after that. Uh, congress has ignored uh, our great leader vallabhai patel dr ambedkar they have not given them and second point is sir we we should be humbly request to the pmc and the teams of uh, netaji subhash chandra bose to kindly accept the awards because right. the award is not given by the government it is a feeling of the country and nobody is about the country yes netaji subhash chandra bose and mahatma gandhi are the leader But they are not about the country, and they should humbly accept so, the award. So, so, uh, so, your view is similar to what Tushar Gandhi said here uh, with us on this discussion. Uh, but I have to tell you and tell our viewers, Dr. Ambedkar uh, and uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel were conferred the Bharat Ratna, albeit very, very late, in my opinion, 1990 and 1991. Uh, N. B. Vishwanathan, go ahead, please. Uh, my comment is that what the Modi government has done is correctly is correct, and Congress cannot blame the. Uh, the award is being given because during the 10 years of UPA rule, they were never thought of Dan Chin, Dan Chand, or any other founders, uh, even including uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Sardar Vallabh, I mean also and other leaders. They were only concentrating on certain uh, political uh, groups. As such, uh, the present government, which has uh, given the award, proposed to give the award, is welcomed. Right. Th th thanks for calling in, Mr. Vishwanathan. You're hearing what our callers are saying, Mr. Keshavan. Now, the other question I want to ask you is: 1955, Jawaharlal Nehru; 1971, Indira Gandhi; 1991, Rajiv Gandhi; 1991, Rajiv Gandhi. The same year as Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Morarji Desai. I is there a, a, a reason why this has happened? Two. And and, and the uh, other thing: two uh, terms of the UPA, sir. Within the last two terms, only two years when the Bharat Ratna was confirmed, conferred. What happened to the other eight years? If this list is so long and it is so endless of our uh, visionaries and icons and and our heroes to whom honor is long overdue, why didn't they announce the names? Why didn't they confer the Bharat? I'll reiterate. I'll reiterate two points again, lest that you know uh, people are not understanding it correctly. This is still in the realm of speculation. All this news and. We are saying that we welcome all the five above five mentioned names are heroes in their own right, and we celebrate them getting the Bharat Ratna. Let us get one thing straight, Anand. Here, people are entitled to different views. We had so many people contribute for the you know growth and development and freedom of this great country. Some people have been honoured. Some people have been left out. That doesn't demean or diminish their service or sacrifice or dedication in any way, because it is the prerogative of the government as well as these leaders you're talking about. Let me make it very clear to you again. Till 1966, even but after 1955, till then it was a convention. Mahatma Gandhi didn't get it. Vallabhai Patel didn't get it. 1990, it was the V.P. Singh government which you know gave uh, uh, the Bharat Sarkar. Why so didn't Sardar Patel get it when Jawaharlal somebody, Nehru got it, sir? Uh, Anand, can you please understand what I'm saying? Jawaharlal Nehru was alive. There was a convention. Vallabhai Patel passed away in 1950, and till 55, posthumous awards were not, uh, you know, uh, notified. Can you please understand that fact? Yeah, please? but from 55 to 90, what happened? Yeah, 
1966, nobody was given until Shastri ji was given. That was a convention. Even after that, out of the 11 posthumous awards given, please understand and underline this clearly. Out of the 11 posthumous awards given, six of them were given instantly the next year or the same year they died. There was a convention. I'm telling you again, it's the prerogative of the government. Today, I don't want to pick up cudgels with the BJP. It is the prerogative. People have voted them into power. Could I argue that why didn't they give Madan Mohan Malviya ji the Bharat Ratna 1988 to, to 2004? Would that be any logical? So let us leave it to the right of the government and who the government of the day let them use their discretion and we respect it all the parties should welcome it and let it be about politics but that but that is not something what the congress is preaching sir my point is that has not been the convention so far by the congress led congress supported congress backed governments so why are they preaching that message to this government now and why so are they the asking what about say? bhagat singh sukhdev well, rajguru because the question is like a rhetoric see, isn't it what were they thinking Today, for the last 64 uh, years? Why didn't they confer the Bharat Ratna on them? When Even I, from 66 onwards. Spoke today. No, no, Mr. Manish Tiwari ji's statement is his own view. He is entitled to his own view as well as the government is entitled uh, to its own prerogative. So are you anybody. trying to say that the Congress as a whole doesn't subscribe to Mr. Manish Tiwari's view? Mr. Rajiv Shukla ji made a very clear statement today that he doesn't agree with him. And he said those are Manish Tiwari ji's views. Right. Mr. Gandhi, you've been wanting to make a point there. No, I, I, I sort of feel revolted by this uh, reiteration that it's government's prerogative. How, why should a national honor be a government's prerogative? Because as soon as it becomes a government's prerogative, there is politics that comes in uh, to play with that. Why shouldn't it be a constitutional honor? Uh, given in that manner. If I had to, uh, you know, make a controversial statement or ask for that, there is a gender imbalance in these awards. Why not rectify that then? Why is it that that is not being uh, addressed? You know, everybody is giving names of uh, people. Why aren't uh, women being uh, named? There are so many of them who deserve the Bharat Ratna, either posthumously or, uh, uh, you know, maybe even uh, in their lifetimes. Yeah, there, there are a few women though, but, there but are very few, few and far, for few and far few. between. You have Mother very Teresa, few. you have MS Subalakshmi, you have Aruna Asafali and Lata Mangeshkar. And yes, you did ask me about Gulzari Lal Nanda. He did get the Bharat Ratna in 1997. But, uh, you know, Mr. Sudhinder Kulkarni, there is a, uh, you know what Netaji's uh, family is asking for? They say if you truly want to honor Subhash Chandra Bose, you declassify the files. Let this government show its intent that it wants to honor uh, Netaji and you declassify the files which you have withheld. They're, they say that there are a few files right with the Prime Minister's office itself. Let the details out. Will this government do that? If they really mean, if they, the intention is to really honor the nation's heroes because that's what the family wants and that's what they've been lobbying for even in 1992, this was their demand. see, as far as uh, Netaji Bose's disappearance is concerned, you know, no government would have any vested interest in withholding information. You know, as far as I know, it's just that the mystery has not been solved. But even though it's reasonable to expect and to think that, you know, he, he passed away, you know, soon after or during at the last, you know, fag end of the Second World War. The mystery has not been solved. Now, which government, which Indian government, whether it's the Congress or the BJP, would have any vested interest in suppressing truth? The governments have not answered the question because they have not declassified the file so far. It's close to 70 years. 1945 is when he disappeared. After that, it's been assumed that he is dead. But they have not been able to confirm it. And the family says, if you want to confer it posthumously, confirm posthumously. Don't make it speculative. Otherwise, remove strike no, of the I, I word posthumously. The, gov the government should consider this. No, see, that is unreasonable because, you know, if at all, he's, you know, he was already given the Bharat Ratna once in 1992. He was not, con he was not conferred. It was proposed for they declined. Information. The court that, struck That is reasonable. You know, the government, the, the family's demand for declassifying information, that's a reasonable demand. And, and that's what they say, Mr. Gandhi. They say, you want to honor Netaji? Don't, we don't want Bharat Ratna. Declassify the files or solve the mystery. But, so if this government's true intent, shouldn't they do it? 
Well, I don't see any reason why they should not be done. It's not going to make any earth-shattering difference to the reality of today. And also, at the same time, I think uh, there's a bit of uh, adamancy in this uh, whole demand. It's so many years. What difference does a few files make to the history or the greatness of that human being? And if it is the Prime Minister's prerogative to give a Bharat Ratna, how can a family's opinion not confer that award? Because it's finally the Prime Minister's prerogative and the family has no say in the matter, should have no say in the matter. So again, you know, family politics, politics again creep into these kind of uh, Things and I, I think true. This I, is what you know, this is what should two, be two points of view, removed. This two points of view I respect out of you, Mr. Mr. Gandhi. You say that if the nation confers an honor on a person, nobody is above the country. Yeah. So you should, uh, you know, in all humility, accept it. But there is also the other side that if the family wants closure, they want questions answered which have not been answered for the last 70 or 70 years. Why can't the government answer there those questions been, and, there, and truly honor a nation hero? There have nation. been enough proofs given of. Uh, the accident and uh, there have been eyewitnesses account of Netaji's passing. If somebody doesn't want to believe it, you can't. No, but if they have nothing it. to hide, then why hold back the files and why not declassify well, them? That, that's is, the other, that is uh, another that, matter. That's the other that's question. Another uh, two more callers before we wind up this discussion, ladies and gentlemen. Kabir Bhomia from Chandigarh and Sham Sundar from Bangalore. Yes, Kabir. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good. Um, uh, just a quick uh, little comment that I have to make. Um, Da Dhyanshan is being recognized for his contribution, say, in colonial Indian times. I do feel that um, in the same field, due recognition is lacking to Balbir Singh Senior for his contribution as a player and afterwards in independent India. Now, my personal feeling is that the high mark set by Da Dhyanshan was not only equaled by Balbir Singh, but it was surpassed. I mean, 2012. Kabir, uh, Kabir, I appreciate your point of view, but the fact is that uh, if, if somebody like a cricketer uh, uh, of the stature of Sachin Tendulkar can supersede the achievements of Major Dhyanchand when the first award was considered, let us start with a hockey player and let it be the Major Dhyanchand first up and we'll hope that the others will follow. That's what I can say. Sham Sundar, yes, go ahead, please. Sir, I'm Sham Sundar from Bangalore speaking. Good evening, go ahead, please. Sir, these Congress people though, don't have the right to talk about Bharat Ratna because they are making who and Kai about this uh, Bharat Ratna now on Levi. They are not considered others, so they have considered only Gandhi family and others. Well, Sham, Sham Sundar, uh, you, you are a lecturer by profession, I'm given to understand. Thanks for calling in. Uh, a lot of... Uh, traction going the way following the comments made by Mr. Manish Tiwari and it's being directed at the Congress right through the evening. We will uh, continue this discussion on the other side. I request our guests to stay on with us. We'll take a very short break and join you on the other side. Welcome back. We just have about six minutes uh, for our chat and discussion. But uh, saying good evening to Satyapal Jain, chairman of the Working Legal Group and member of the National Executive of the BJP. Good evening, sir. Mr. Jain, before I come across to you, there is a caller, a viewer of ours calling us from Stockholm, Sweden, who has been patiently waiting right through the commercial break. So I'll just go across to him and then I'll come to you. Uh, Kuldeep Mishra, go ahead, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Very good evening. In fact, I really appreciate the way you are taking this debate on the issue of Bharat Ratna. I have some couple of points. Number one, <coughs> excuse me, that Bharat Ratna should not be categorized or discriminate on the basis of the area of people's working. For example, Bharat Ratna for sportsmen, Bharat Ratna for politician or scientist or policeman or doctors or engineer or like this. Bharat Ratna means Bharat Ratna. It is a Ratna. Right. It should be given to the top class of person who has contributed for India. Number one, I was getting impression till yesterday that Bharat Ratna was reserved for one particular family in India or their loyalist or, their peop or the people who are depending on their mercy. But the person of great stature, like Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who was ignored for long, see his contribution in parliament, see his contribution on national buildings. Right. Plus, Dhyanchan, these people should have given 
Right, many agree with you and many would have differing, differing points of view, Mr. Mishra, but uh, thanks for calling in and do keep watching us and uh, do participate in this debate later on also and do write in to us. But Mr. Jain, Mr. Satyapal Jain, what is the BJP's motive? Because Mr. Tushar Gandhi here, while in the break, made a suggestion and I'm going to put that across straight to you. If the government's intention is to recognize national icons who've been ignored over the last 60 odd years, why not announce their names altogether? Make an exception, stand out, say, these are the people who we have not recognized so far. It's a list of 20, 25 luminaries and we'll rec uh, we will uh, announce Bharat Ratna for all of them together. So we correct what has been done wrong. We'll undo the wrong in one go. If, that, if the intention of the government was to recognize national icons, why hasn't it thought about this? Please try to first understand the procedure which has to be followed before conferring Bharat Ratna on any personality. As per the law, in a particular year, the maximum number of people on whom you can confer Bharat Ratna is three. That is the guideline provided by the government of India and framed by the government led by the Congress party. The issue of uh, discussing those names in public, I think this is the highest award of the nation. And that is why under the guidelines, it has been provided that the name for conferring the Bharat Ratna award will be first recommended by the Prime Minister of India to the President of India. And if the President also agrees, only then this award will be conferred. And so Mr. Jain, are you trying to say that out of the five names been that have been shortlisted, two will be struck off this time too? Are, are you trying to tell our viewers that out of the five names that have been uh, shortlisted this nobody, time? See, even, even, no, no. The government of India or the party has nowhere said that five names have been shortlisted. It is all the speculation and news stories being circulated by the media people. There is no official version by any government. So, so you uh, still say that the government will stick person. to the rule book it and not the speculation and confer but, not but more all, than three but people. Having, 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 having said that, having said that, having said that, I'll request all, especially my Congress colleagues, that this is an issue which should not be discussed. To the extent to which it is being discussed even by our Congress people. The Congress I representative who spoke just now from South India, I appreciate one point that he made that the comments given by Mr. Manish Tawadi are not the comments of the Congress party, they are his personal views. See, these high personalities, let's not bring them into Congress BJP fight. Let's not bring them into Dalit. No, my question to you, fight. Mr. Jain, let's is. Not bring them into Mr. Jain, you are an expert in cricket. Mr. Mr. Jain, my question to you is. Yes. Uh, yes. I, I, and we'll stick to the point. Let's keep the politics out. I'm saying that there are so many names that have been ignored for so many years. Yes. Will the, how will this government rectify that? If you're saying that only yes. three people will be conferred the Bharat Ratna this time around, the which will those three names be? Will Atal Bihari Vajpayee be pre preferred ahead of I'm, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya and Major Dhyan Chand and Kanshi Ram? I'm nobody to comment on the way the Honorable Prime Minister will consider all these names. But I have full confidence, the whole nation has full confidence in the wisdom of the Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. And after considering all the pros, cons, all these issues in detail, he will make the recommendation to the President. And I can imagine, whole world can imagine the, the tough choice that the Prime Minister will have to make to choose three right. out of so many high dignitaries, how many people who have contributed a lot right, to the Mr. nation. Jain. We can imagine the tough strength, Mr. Jain, the, I... the tough uh, choice no. that he will have to make. So Mr. let's Jain. not bring all these controversies into it. Leave it to the wisdom of the Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Jain, we are running out of time. So uh, final 30 seconds, two comments please uh, from uh, Mr. Kesavan and also Mr. Gandhi. I have only that much of time left. So uh, Mr. Kesavan, before I come to you, Mr. Gandhi, quickly make your point and then I'll uh, take the closing comments from Mr. C.R. Kesavan. You know, what I feel is that if there was a rule that only three people could have been, could be given a Bharat Ratna, whoever has floated these five names uh, should be prosecuted because dropping two people because of a rule now would be a greater insult than them being ignored for so many years uh, by the previous regime. And uh, that would dishonor the services or their memories to a greater extent than the... But then, then uh, who's committed ignored. a greater insult, Mr. Kesavan, uh, if uh, dropping two people out of shortlist of five or, or not picking up anybody for more than about eight years in a ten-year term? Let me make one thing very clear in my uh, statement of conclusion. 
the bharat ratna is the highest award it's an expression of gratitude and appreciation by all of us all of us in the country towards these great heroes men and women i think let's keep politics outside of this let's not you know as you know ascertain or ascribe you know parochial and sectarian reasons for these things let us this is the moment of celebration if indeed an award is being announced let us salute these heroes whoever they are it's with the discretion of the government and i think let's all unite and stand uh, behind in uh, celebrating these heroes and their contributions very rightly to our said very rightly said mr keshav you got to wind up the discussion with that very question why in the last decade eight years no bharat ratna was conferred when there are so many luminaries luminaries who still have been left and and who still are left to be honored the honor long overdue the discussion continues the debate will go on till the confirmation actually comes and we'll see who makes that list of 3 mr gandhi mr sudhinder kulkarni mr c r keshavan justice malviya and satyapal jain along with china nc thanks for joining us to all our viewers thanks for calling in